Hi, I'm Jantastic, and today is day number seven of React Holiday, our 25-day crash course in React. Today, we're going to connect use state and use effect to take our fetched Pokemon from the internet and actually update our component with it. Now, we learned in two or three days ago that uh, in order to update a component with state, we need to use this use state function. And then we used use effect to actually fetch data from the internet. Now, right now, we're just logging that out. So when I hit next a couple times, uh, we're getting that data, but we're not updating our component with it. So I want to show you how fun and easy this is. So right now, we're just logging out that data. Let's actually put this in state and update our component with it. So we have a Pokemon, and right now, it just pulling from our static collection. Let's wrap this in use state. We'll change this. So react dot use state. And for starters, we'll just say null. This is a falsy value. So we're going to render our fallback if we don't have a Pokemon. Now I need to uh, destructure this off of the array so I can actually get the value. Uh, and then we're going to take the second element of this array as set Pokemon. Okay, so now we're using use state to track our Pokemon. Now all we have to do is call or sorry, set Pokemon, call that function that we got from use state uh, with our JSON. Now, as we click through this, we have an endless stream of Pokemon. Now, maybe not an endless stream. I think there's maybe 900 or so Pokemon, uh, but uh, we're, we're getting these right from the internet. That's so freaking cool. So that's it. If you want to update your component with data fetched from the internet, just use effect, get your data, and then in that callback, once you have it, uh, call your set state function to set the state of this component. And now it's just going to update with uh, all these Pokemon.